Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome back to City Skylines. So I was really impressed by the response from the first City Skylines video. You guys really uh, wanted more City Skylines because um, <clears throat> 13 uh, likes in such a short period of time is a record on the channel. So I uh, thought so uh, today we'll give you some more City Skylines. And I wanted to play some more City Skylines as well. So here we are. I really don't like this weather because it makes it really hard to see what's going on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're good on that. So, right now, we're just going to do more zoning. I like to use the paintbrush. I like it more than the, um, the fill tool. So we'll just paint this green. And then, apparently, we're going to want some more, um... Can we check natural resources yet? No. I think we have to get to the next level before we can do that. At any rate, uh, apparently the okay, so we've got this done, so once that rise is enough, they're going to uh, they're going to do some more uh, some more of that. But let's in the meantime drag ourselves out some more industry. And we'll zone this stuff. Well, no, not that. I would rather we not have. So I'd actually rather unzone this stuff. What I'd like is to have as few of these industrial businesses actually on the four lane road as possible. Just because I don't want people parking there. I don't think they do, actually. I don't think workers park at the businesses. At least, I've never seen it. Oh, there's a car up there. There's a car parked over here. But generally, there aren't cars parked in the industrial zones. Which is interesting. Anyway, we've got some more industry down. we got some more housing down. People are, are good. Uh, and they want some more commercials. So let's zone some more commercial right here. Use the fill tool to finish filling that in. Will that be more commercial than we need? We'll just fill this whole block. That's what we've been doing. And we just need to get to the next population milestone. Worthy village. Once we get districts and uh, industry specializations going, we can start to check out our natural resources and plan the next area that we're going to move into, unless we can't, unless this map is strictly one area. I don't think so. I mean, come on, there's stuff over here. But maybe, I mean, I can't go any further on, in my view, so who knows? Maybe we're stuck in this little, uh, little area, but that'll be neat, because actually that'll give us the effort. Oh, crap! I haven't been keeping an eye on my power. Alright, it's okay. Um, we can fix this. We can increase... power budget until it fixes our availability issue there we go electricity problems temporarily solvited I need more money let's speed this thing up I need this income to go up. Like, uh, it's just not enough. Keep zoning our residential sectors. Keep an eye on our power consumption. Uh, right. Tr trouble at the Black Mesa Research Facility. Hashtag smell the ashes. Hashtag Freeman. Ha! That's funny. Half-life reference. Oop. Power is bad again. I need 
to keep the power in a good way until I can afford to buy another power plant. It looks like I can afford to buy another wind plant. There might be just the one area here. Did that work? We kind of got like rolling brownouts going on. I like to get the most efficiency out of the plants that I currently have. Those uh, those windmills. Okay, we're a worthy village now. Electricity production is currently 18. Consumption is 16. Okay. I think that's the... Okay, yeah. We can definitely annex more territory. Okay, so... It would appear that we do need another uh, power supply. So I'm going to place... Well, let's take a look at this. Obviously, it makes more sense to place them over here. But I think it's residential and commercial that are... I think I think these are the ones that are using the most power. Um, actually, we have a, 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 a split power grid with um, currently. With uh, industrial being powered solely off this windmill. And this windmill powering everything else. So I think if we place another windmill up here on the mountain at the 8 uh, megawatts that will definitely help now one, obviously once we get over here and connect these two together um, that'll also be helpful okay so we've got only if we got twenty three thousand dollars now we've unlocked some stuff let's go to the areas view check our natural resources and see what we want to do okay so we've got fertile lands um, over here We've obviously got room for a lot of forestry. Even right right here where our industry currently is, we could start zoning for forestry. Um, over here, there's, there's forests everywhere. There's oil way over there, which we can't currently get to. And there's ore over here and then over there. I think that right now, we're definitely going to want to go for forestry as one of our main um, as our main industry because there's so much of it this this area over here well we could put some farms in but really up here is where mm -hmm. the um, farming would come into its own right in this little area and then we'd have some um, mining done over over here so I think we, we want to expand in this direction yeah I, I got better things to do for my money than uh, than buy this right now but we're going to want to go over here. That'll also give us another highway connection, which is excellent. We'll drag that highway connection down along the coast and plug it in at some point to our um, our, uh, our industry over here. That'll also be great because it'll run past the ore industry and the farm in right here off the highway there. We want to go over here eventually. So yeah, that's good. So now we know where we're at on that front. Let's get out of area view. Speed this mother up. And uh, residential. But anyway, let's take a look at the stuff that we need to start doing. Um, we've got garbage. We've got now healthcare. So we do need to place this medical clinic. And I think the perfect place for this medical clinic is just right here. It's in the commercial district. It covers the entire residential area. Move it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna place it right here. It'll cost me ten grand, uh, half my money to place in some medical. Average health is currently fifty-five percent. Not the worst in the world. If I just leave it like it is. Now, what we really gonna need is fire, especially over here. And then these are not cheap. These are very expensive at twelve thousand. I think we'll be good for the moment though. So let's just keep zoning. I can't spend all my money. I need to uh, store up some disposable cash. So let's get this going and keep zoning our residential. Obviously keep an eye on our power. 
power is good. Android and Gynoid robot models released for consumer use can buy a friend or a partner. Artificial love. Hey, sex bots. Whoa. Well, now we know where the fire department needs to go. So I was gonna place um, health. Uh, I was gonna place the health clinic right here. But uh, maybe we want to place the fire station right there. Would it cover the... No, it wouldn't cover the... the uh, no matter what we do, we're going to have to build another one over here. Um, I just want to place it in a way that I only have to demolish like one building at max. Because if I place it um, here, I don't got to demolish anything. Yeah, first come, first serve. Let's place the uh, the fire station. Oh, here's a problem. What kind of street is this? It's two-way. It's two-way street. So the question is... How do I, like, view the fire engines? Oh, there's a fire at ready to wear. Oh, there's two fires right now. So they're going to ready to wear. They're not going to this fire. Okay. So that fire. Oh my goodness. So they're not going to help. Okay, this one went to this fire. It, it's not going to be enough. Oh, it is. The Oriental Residence. Okay, so it didn't burn. Okay, so they they can actually fight. Oh, they didn't get there in time. Um, ready to wear, burn down. Have you lost your wallet? Uh, so now you have to demolish it. I'm glad demolishing doesn't cost money. Yeah, so we're going to need to get a, a fire uh, station over there at some point. We have access to education. We have a 247 eligible citizens for education. Um, so if I built it, you know, it would get filled pretty much. Cost 10,000 though. So I want to I want to wait until we have 20,000. I don't want to spend my money down below 10 if I can help it. Um, let's do some zoning because we need more residential at this point. I don't want to get the residential too close to the uh, the roundabout and the highways and stuff. I feel like this is the last residential block that I'll zone and then we'll uh, cut these over in this direction and we'll start zoning residential over on this side of our little commercial strip. And we'll make this a commercial bit as well, and and uh, that sounds like a good idea to me. Because I don't want to get them too close to these um, this highway. Because if I put anything over here, it's I want it to be um, maybe office buildings and stuff of that nature in the center. At some point, we're gonna have to go across the um, okay. So we've got now about 19,000. What's our health level at? 53%. We're still fine on health. <clears throat> Crime is still uh, low. I don't think... Oh, well, there's a criminal over there. There's a criminal there. How much does this cost? 12,000. Uh, I can easily put it right here. But it might have a longer range if I stick it on the actual highway. We could put it right here. It would still cover everything, and it would have more of a presence on the industrial side. I'm going to put it right there. So he will not park on the thingy. Let's go ahead and build it. We're making a decent amount of money. We're gonna get healthcare, you people. Don't worry about it. 
Let's come over here and grab some more road. Pull the road out. How is that road pointed? It's pointed that way, but let's straighten it out. Drag this across. There. Don't worry, peeps. We are going to have all of that stuff later. Okay, so that's the last residential on this side. We'll go ahead and zone all of this as residential. Then we'll grab some road and start laying out the plans for this next sort of area in here where the residential is going to be expanded. Um, I think what I want to do is um, grab my four lane road and upgrade this and then place it well, following. Do I want to follow the same sort of angled direction, which would result eventually in a road like that, or do I want to straighten it out? I think we'll keep it angled. So let's maintain that same angle. And of course, the idea with this is that eventually we'll just spread it out and it'll become the bridge that takes us to the other side. That'll take a lot of money though. <clears throat> In the meantime, I just want to get this road over here and to save it so that I know, hey, that's what we're doing. Make sure that I don't mess that up, cover it up or anything. Now, let's grab some more road and figure out what we're doing here. Um, can't, uh, let's speed up time. I want it to become daytime so I can see this mountain. Uh, if I'm gonna start laying stuff in. All right, we're now a tiny town. So we've got a nice cash infusion. Okay, <clears throat> I can kind of see the edge of this mountain now. So let's grab ourselves a curved road. And just sort of curve it around the mountain. That will be our closest point to the actual mountain. We'll zone this as residential. My goodness. Why does it feel like the audio is so loud all of a sudden? <coughs> Let's turn down the music. Holy cow. I couldn't hear myself talk. But uh, that'll be the closest we get to the mountain, unless I want to take a dirt road and start running it up and put some, like a, like a really high class area over there. Anyway, the idea is that we will run this four lane over across the river eventually but that this road curves back around following the river and uh, crosses over and connects to it, crosses over it, what have you. Over here we ha we'll have um, forestry. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab our districting tool. Because this is all forested area, I believe. Of course, because there's forest there. So we will paint ourselves a district. Starting right on the other side of this road. Paint it over to here. Eventually this district is going to expand, extend over here. Because um, this whole area up here will probably be industrial at some point. But for now we have Chestnut Square. Which... 
we will make forest industry. So when we get back to zoning industrial, it'll be zoned as forest. Okay, so roads. I find myself liking a combination of straight sort of why didn't that get why isn't that zonable right there that's odd not sure why that didn't get zoned but at least now it, it looks a bit different now we got like a little bit of an interesting uh, thing going on Connect that over there, a bit of a curved bit, and then let's grab ourselves a couple of, I don't know, we'll think about that. At the moment though, we've got some more stuff to zone now, so we can turn this thing on and start zoning our residential. Residential there, residential all the way around the mountain. I'll skip this one because we might want to put some more commercial in there. Or I might put commercial um, over here or something. But I know that I want this stuff to be residential. The whole... Oh, this area doesn't quite have water yet. So let's grab our water pipes and make sure we extend those. If I just extend the basic water pipes that we already had, we'll zone. Th we'll get that water. But I do need to branch one off from that stuff. All right, so we got the water there. Let's keep playing this tune. We want the residential to actually start building because it needs to spread the. Um, Oh, crap. Power is out. I think it's time that we finally go ahead and connect the power from this area over to here. Oh. Is that close enough to actually get power? No idea, we'll have to see. But we definitely need more power. So we can't afford a power a coal plant, so we'll just build another windmill. And there we go. This does have power. The two grids are connected now. If I, if I could relocate this, we'd actually have more power. I can relocate it. Nah, I'll leave it where it is. I like the idea that even if that gets broken for some reason, the industry won't suddenly de depower. <clears throat> what? Who doesn't have water? What? That little house right there doesn't have water? I gotta drag a power a, a water line over there just to give that one house power. I mean water. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm liking the way that this city is coming together so far. I like this sort of interesting little area we've got over here, curving around this uh, mountain. That's it for this episode. Um, and this road did terminate right before this big drop, and we're not going to put anything down here. I don't think. This is just going to curve around over to here, connect to this four lane, and then from this four lane, we're going to drag four lane road across the uh, the river bank to connect to this. So that's the future of the city. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying City Skylines. You obviously enjoyed the first episode because 
you had a massive response and got this episode out. So please continue to do that to do so. Like this video if you liked it and want to see more city skylines. So I'm stay tuned for more future videos. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out. <laughs>